haven't turned on my phone since uh, in the end bar because it was at 70% with the water droplet telling me I can't charge it. So hopefully, being exposed to the sun yesterday, it's gone. And I had to put the phone on, in, was it low power mode? It is gone, so I got 70% left to go. That's good. All right, it's about 6.05 in the morning. Let me give you a rundown of what's going on here. Battery, my power bank, died when I was charging my iPhone um, at the Indian bar. Garmin has, I haven't turned it on yet, but it has 50%. And you already saw the video that this has 7%. So, basically, I'm running out of juice, but I'm hoping to have an early start to uh, sunrise and try to get my at least my phone charges at the inn or at the restaurant so I could actually text my family that I'm okay. So, yeah, I mean, I'm basically almost ready to go. I just get everything uh, packed into the, the bag and off we go. So something to uh, think about, if you leave early from camp, you're going to walk through a lot and a lot of spider webs. That's annoying though. The section between Panhandle Gap and the sunrise. There's a lot of day hikers walking through here. It's been a sunrise. Yeah. So, yesterday, I left Indian Bar. The minute you hit the woods, and to the point where I took a 15-minute uh, break, it's probably going counterclockwise the steepest incline on the Wonderland Trail. And that was the last steps that I had to go to. And as I mentioned, the wind wasn't blowing from the south. Uh, it would probably have been, I don't know, a lot harder than it should have been. But I also noticed when I took off my pack, my towel, my everyday towel that I've been using, is not attached to my pack and I realized I left, that I left it at Indian Bar. That was a towel I was going to use from that point where I took a break all the way to Summerland to soak it in water, put it in my head, put my cap on and would act like a uh, air conditioner. And uh, This morning, actually last night, my lips started uh, not burning, but drying up. And I guess from that sun exposure, my lips are so chapped. I've been like licking my lips almost every minute just to keep it um, not drying out. So when I get to sunrise at the general store, I'm gonna see if they have a lightweight towel and some chapsticks. The videos I've been posting, 10 minute videos, uh, it's mostly for my family, but also for my friends. And I figure 10 minutes was not too long, not too short, just about right. But on a typical day for me that I've been hiking um, from camp to camp with my phone being 100% charged, I use up 30% of it when I get to to camp and that's also checking gut hooks on the elevation water sources and uh, how much mileage I have left to camp but when I get to camp to edit that video depending if I'm doing was it like day part like uh, day five where I'm doing a commentary that's the first time I've been doing that one 
in day six for that picture and picture and picture. The lowest I ever got for my phone was at 36%. Because the battery died at Indian Bar and I couldn't charge my Galaxy S8 Plus, um, I couldn't edit yesterday's video. So until I get to sunrise, hopefully to charge this phone first and to charge my Galaxy S8 so I could text my friends and family that I'm doing okay with a uh, 20,000 milliamp battery. Um, I would say it would last you the 10 days around Mount Rainier. Even if you top off your phone at uh, Longmire or Sunrise, you should be fine because, I mean, I'm, I'm editing videos, so just imagine five days of editing, which is about 20 to 15%, that's almost one full charge of your phone. So I'm doing 10 days, so that's basically two full charges on your phone. As I'm getting closer to the end of this path, last year this bridge washed out completely and uh, hikers early on had to find a alternative route either going down or going upstream to see where they could cross. This is, if I remember correctly, a brand new bridge that they had to make after a month. So I just want to say thank you to people that made this bridge. Look at this. Look how crazy this is. You're gonna come out from there, from the river. Right here you, you can throw your trash, thankfully. They won't let trail continues that way but you want to take a right all the way to the very end to pick up your uh, e-supply. Okay so fix our bag and trash. Day 10. Day 9. Fix toilet paper and you can see fix our battery. Recharge. So here I am right here. River campground. I got uh, 2.1 miles of uphill and 0.4 to go to Sunrise. And then 0.4 and 0.8 to get to Sunrise Camp. So yeah, that's gonna be the rest of the day. Sunrise Visitor Center. Yeah, right behind us, it's not many here. Okay, and a burger at the Visitor Center. Got my chapstick, my razor, I got a little snack to take with me. And it's about 2.23 on my way to the Sunrise Campground. It should take me about an hour. It's about 1.3 miles. Burger it was, was okay. It wasn't as great as everybody said it would be on Facebook, but it is worth the trip. 0.5 miles to get here and it's a beautiful view of Mount Rainier as I'm walking by so I'll show you guys that